Hey there, in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to remove brand from your BigCommerce store. Before we get started, my name is Cal. I'm a developer, a store owner just like you, and I run an online community for store owners like us. I'll have a link at the end. And uh, let me share my screen and let's dig in. So this is a demo store, and you can see that on this demo product, there's a brand listed called Common Good. Now, first of all, you can just elect to not show the brand on the product page. And if that's all you need, just have a developer comment that part out on the product page. But if you comment it out, the brand is still going to exist and it'll have a brand page listed here on slash brands. Now, every big commerce store has a hard coded page called slash brands, right? And you may not realize that you have it, but you have it and it's in your site map. And so, you can see that all of the brands listed in this demo store here, and I could click into one and see all the products that have that brand attached. So again, if you remove, if you just hide it on your product page, it doesn't remove the fact that the brand exists in your data and that your brand exists on the brand's page. Now you could also remove it from your product card again by commenting it out, but same story. It doesn't actually remove it from your store, right? So one thing to know is that it exists probably on your product page, probably on your product cards, definitely exist on the brands page. And then it also exists in both your site map and your visual site map. If you haven't seen my site maps video, you have two site maps in big commerce. You have the one that's a site map XML that you give to Google. And then you also have your uh, slash site map, which is another hard coded page. And this is a really cool page because it lists all of your pages and your categories and uh, and whatnot, as well as your brands, right? So this gives Google an extra way, and not just Google, but other search engines, but it gives them an extra way to see all of your important links. So if you're trying to hide your brands and you just uh, you just comment it out on the product page and or on your product cards, it's still gonna exist here and it's still gonna get indexed and you're still gonna have it show up potentially in search engine results because it's getting indexed. So let me show you how to remove it. It's actually really easy. It comes down to just not using it. Now, if you've had brands attached to any of your products, as soon as you type in a brand name that's new, it's going to add it as a new brand. So I just hit an S to the end of common goods. And you can see now under brands, now I have a common good and a common goods. Because anytime it hears about a new brand, if it doesn't match an existing brand, it's going to create a new one for you. If you do a product import using the CSV and it's got a brand that's misspelled or that just doesn't exist in here, it's going to create a new brand. So it's really easy to end up with, with brands pretty willy nilly. But to get rid of them, you can, first of all, you can remove them from all of your products if you want. But you could also just go into view brands, click the select all, hit delete and it removes it. So if I come back to the store and hit refresh on the sitemap, no longer a brands chunk. If I go to the brands page, then you can see no brands show up anymore. So you still have a brands hard coded page no matter what, but there's not gonna be any brands to get indexed there anymore. Um, so it's a really easy solution, but you definitely want to kind of understand the ramifications of, am I just hiding it in one place or do I need to delete my brand data altogether? Now, when I click to delete on all those brands because no brands exist anymore, there's now no longer a brand attached to any product. So I effectively wiped that field for all of my products all at once, which is pretty handy. All right, um, that's how to get rid of brands on your big commerce store and just don't load any brands in the future. If you accidentally load one, just go back into let me show you where I got to it. Um, it's under products, brands, and then you just delete all of them that are there. Easy as can be. All right. Thanks so much for joining me, you guys. If you're interested in the community or in our courses, check out ecommerceamplifiers.com. If you need to work with a developer, if you're interested in working with me and my team, hit us up at epicdesignlabs.com and leave me a comment if this helped you guys. I really appreciate you. Thanks.